Another story from BobTuscan.com. We see a family has been raided by a SWAT team over their weeds. And this is not the kind of weeds you smoke. That's the kind of mistake that they made. At around 7.30 last Friday morning, inhabitants of the Garden of Eden, a small intentional community based on sustainability, were awakened by a SWAT raid that was conducted by the city of Arlington for suspicion of being a full-fledged marijuana growth and trafficking operation. Ultimately, only a single arrest was made based on unrelated outstanding traffic violations. A handful of citations were given for city code violations and no, that is zero, drug-related violations were found. The entire operation lasted about 10 hours. Dozens of city officials, SWAT team, police officers, and code compliance employees and numerous official vehicles, including dozens of police cars, several specialized vehicular equipment. Witnesses say that there were helicopters and unmanned flying drones circling the property in the days prior to the raid that are presumed to have been part of the intelligence gathering. Well, they didn't do too well in terms of gathering intelligence, did they? The combined expenses for the raid itself and the collection of information leading up to the fruitless raid are estimated in the tens of thousands of taxpayer dollars. The city of Arlington has trespassed, they say, and committed robbery against us. This is a press release from them, amongst other crimes, and they will be held accountable in a court of law in due time. Well, let's hope that they are held accountable. What we're seeing here is a bunch of keystone cops using the full force of the militarized police state against these people. As I said, they had extensive surveillance, but they couldn't tell that these plants were not marijuana plants. And so after this authoritarian SWAT team raid, threatening these people for 10 hours, brutalizing them for 10 hours, they finally come up with some totally unrelated charges like traffic violations. They had to come up with something. They're going to fish for 10 hours until they find something because there's nothing there. But if there were marijuana plants there, would that have justified this? Absolutely not. We have a new documentary that's come out, ex available exclusively from InfoWars, called American Drug War II, Cannabis Destiny. This is from Kevin Booth. He produced, if you may remember, American Drug War, which was uh, about the trafficking of cocaine and the corruption of government officials. This documentary follows a personal tale of children and how this affects children, because, of course, the government always loves to use either racism to uh, intimidate people or they say that they're going to save the children. That's what they need to come up with authoritarian policies for. But the reality is, is that America's drug war harms children. It harms children in foster care because the pharmaceutical companies are pushing to have the government give legal but very dangerous drugs to children in foster care. And it also keeps away medical marijuana, which has a lot of benefits for everyone, not just children. He talks about children who have uh, seizures that are relieved from uh, medical marijuana treatment, its effectiveness and its safety in treating cancer and relieving the symptoms associated with cancer. It's a great documentary. Again, it's available only from InfoWarsStore.com in the DVD version. And we have a combo pack where you can get the first documentary combined with this one at a $7 savings. Well, right after the break, we've got an interview. Gigi Ernetta is talking to someone from Overpasses.org. Now, they would not agree with Michael Steele that Obama does not deserve to be impeached. As a matter of fact, they believe that he should be impeached, as we said before, for the crimes that are like Richard Nixon, but far greater in extent, and for new crimes like killing Americans abroad that have not had trial. So it's going to be an interesting interview. Stay tuned right after the break. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.